our next science experiment is all about how to make relaxing, jingling music that only you can hear. Shall we go do it? Let's go do it. This is a scrap piece of electrical wire, and it's got three wires inside of it. It's real easy to open it up with a craft knife. And then you'll see you have one unwrapped wire and two wrapped wires. And it's easy to get the wrapping off of the wrapped wires, again, with your craft knife. Just shave it off a little at a time and peel it back. I've cut some electrical wire to two inches, one and three quarters, and one and a half inches. These two I've already hammered, and that was how I made the loop at the top. It just folds to the back. I'm going to show you how I hammered them. You'll notice it began to change shape a little bit. It might curve to one side or the other as you start your hammering. And you'll also notice that on the other side, it's flat. So when you get to the end where you have your shape already, just do the tapping, do your faceting very lightly so you can maintain it on both sides. When you're done with the hammering, take a good look at it and decide which end you like better because that's the end that you'll leave. So, and as long as the other end is flat enough, you'll be fine to make your loop from it. The other thing that hammering does, besides making it look gorgeous, is it hardens it. So don't be surprised if it's a little bit hard to bend or if it actually breaks off. That's called work hardening. This is what your hanger will look like. I already know that I'll need at least a quarter of an inch of very flat spot. Otherwise, if you rounded it, it still would be okay, but they would be they would stick out like that. So if you like that, that's fine. But because these are meant to make noise, you'll want to have them touching. Okay, so I'm going to say right there. And go ahead and cross them. Slide your pieces on. That triangle looks pretty close to that triangle. Now you want to, right at the top of the triangle, bend your two ends out. And it's okay that they're not even. I kind of like that. And then you're going to roll them into the center and this kind of makes a heart shape. Now let's bring back the jeweler's block and hammer those curls a little bit. And what you'll find is as you hammer any curls you have will want to kind of straighten out and they can be bent easily back into shape. Before you go any further, check your size. Yes, I think that that looks pretty close to that. Now for the top piece, you'll want three more inches. You'll want to make a good size loop in the center. And then you'll crimp it. And then you'll want to take a bead with a fairly good size hole to go over both ends of the wire. Right up to the crimp. Yep. Now separate your ends a little bit. You're going to make hooks that will go through 
the circles in the top of your heart shape down there. So start by bending these back just a little bit. And what that will do is when I go to round it toward the front, it will keep it centered below the bead. It goes back and then comes forward. And if it's not even, you can make those adjustments at this time. I think that looks pretty good. Now, on this one, I made, when I put this together, I made them cross in the front. So, I know that I want to go the same direction. So, I've brought these pieces through the front. Next, you will cross those pieces, just like that, and then you're going to push them back just under the bead, and I'm also going to do a little additional, there we go, a little additional flattening. And for the last part, you'll roll the two outside arms down. All right, then you can see the very last thing is to hammer the little loops. And there are your tiny dangly chime earrings. Let's see if we can hear them. Ooh, nice sound. Not everyone can handle wearing something that makes noise, and that's fine. But if you're somebody who likes that, and you try something that you saw here today, I would love to hear about it. You can email me, Candice at CoolToCraft.com, with high-resolution photos and your story about what you did. I'm Candice, and I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>